The eyes of the nation are on Surfside, Florida right now, and that includes former Florida Senator Bill Nelson, born in Miami. We talked to him about it last night. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us again as a former senator, a former astronaut, and now the administrator of NASA. What is your reaction to the release of that U.S. intelligence report on the series of UFO sightings by Navy pilots and others? Have you had a chance to review it? I have. I've seen the classified version as well. I just want to say at the outset, my heart just grieves for what folks are going through in South Florida right now. Uh, as I said to you last night, uh, I have two friends that have apartments in that building. One friend was not in the apartment and the other one was and, of course, hasn't been heard from. Uh, yes, I've seen the classified report. Uh, it says basically uh, what we thought. Uh, we don't know the answer to what those Navy pilots saw. Now, they know that they saw something. They tracked it. They locked their radar onto it. They followed it. It would suddenly move quickly from one location to another. Uh, and uh, what the report does tell us that is public is that there have been over 140 of these sightings. So naturally, uh, what uh, I ask uh, our scientists to do is to see if there's any kind of explanation from a scientific point of view. Uh, and uh, I'm awaiting their report. And I'm so sorry, first off, about your friend that you still haven't heard word about. Um, please keep us posted on how that goes. We know those search and rescue efforts are underway down in Florida, but you have actually viewed the classified report. And I'm curious, given that this, the, the, the public report was obviously inconclusive um, after looking at dozens of incidents, do you, did you have a strong feeling after you read the classified report of what could account for these objects in the sky? Not only reading the report, but three years ago, I talked to the Navy pilots when we were briefed in the Senate Armed Services uh, Committee. And uh, uh, my, my, my feeling is that there is clearly something there. Uh, it may not necessarily be an extraterrestrial, but if it is a technology that some of our adversaries have, then we better be concerned. So not necessary extraterrestrial, but you're not ruling it out. Um, do you know, obviously you have so much knowledge of what our adversaries are capable of. Do you know if they have the capabilities to create these flying objects like this? We don't think so. Uh, but so uh, when, when it comes to uh, the universe, remember the universe is so large, we, we have a program in NASA called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. But thus far, we don't have any receipt of uh, communication from something that's intelligent. Right. I mean, you're, we're a little speck in one galaxy out of billions of galaxies, right? Um, do you think this report, though, and its lack of real answers is just going to create more anxiety and more conspiracy theories? Since people, as you well know, people want something definitive. They want an explanation for this, and we just don't have it right now. Ever since that video from the Navy pilots came out, people are hungry to know. And of course, ever since Star Trek, you know, people are yearning to find out what's out there in the cosmos. Are we alone? Personally, I don't think we are. The universe is so big. Uh, it's, uh, it's 13 and a half billion years ago is when the universe started. Uh, that's pretty big. So, uh, but people are hungry for this kind of information and we're gonna keep searching. So what you're saying is you do believe in the idea that there are other living beings out there on another planet outside of Earth, is what you're saying? We are already finding examples of other planets around other suns. When we launch the James Webb Telescope in November, it will peer back in time, almost okay. to the beginning, and then we'll find some additional information.
we'll find okay. more plans. This is fascinating. We hope you'll come back on the show to discuss all this with us. NASA Administrator, former Florida Senator Bill Nelson, thank you.